By the power of Asgard. That's right. We have all kinds of decked out Mjolnir gear right now. We've got the Mjolnir necklace. We've got the, got the Mjolnir spinner hammer. Super, super cool stuff. I've, I've been having a lot of people ask me, where is your hammer at um, when, when, when they come into contact with me? So I decided to, to make my own hammer, as you can kind of see right over here. We've got, we've got the whole complete hammer made. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I made this, how I 3D printed it from clear plastic up into the mock one-to-one -one replica that we have right here. And as you can see, if I actually, I'll put my hand in this wrapper right there. Whoa, ooh, it's heavy. It's actually really, really heavy. Okay, so so far we have the hammer all glued together and what we need to do now is we've got a hole in the top so we can actually add our filler which we're going to be using this uh, gap stuff filler to actually get the whole inside of the hammer solid. We're going to put some magnets inside here and that way it can kind of stick to things and then we're going to close it up and then after that point we can actually start painting it and then when we, when we paint it we're going to be using the truck bed. Uh, to kind of just put the first coat on everything and then after that we're going to be using the plastic dip for the handle and then from that point forward we're going to be putting the specific colors on there and then hopefully it's going to have some weight in it and we can actually get it stuck to the metal objects it'll be kind of cool so we'll, we'll update you very shortly. Thor hammer is doing right now. <laughs> it's, it was uh, it was recently reinforced with some of the, the wonderful crack expanding foam, um, and and now I, I left a gap open so that it could kind of uh, you know let some of it out while it dries. So now the entire actual center of this what what used to be hollow is now full. And it's got this weird design on it because I was cleaning it up with some uh, acetone. And uh, anyways, it is uh, going to sit here overnight while the inside of it hardens. And any extra foam that needs to come out will. And then I can sand the top of it tomorrow. So, alright, that's it for now. Oh yeah, here we go. We, we've got the Thor hammer completely put together now. It has uh, taken some setbacks. It's finally actually glued together. Um, I've had to glue it a couple different times and I've been using the you know JB Weld epoxy as well as the Gorilla Glue and it's been working somewhat fine but I did overfill it with that uh, with that uh, foam filler stuff that you guys might have seen in the previous clip and yeah yeah o overfilling it was was not a was not a good idea it kept expanding and expanding and basically broke all of the previously glued joints that I had not all of them but a lot of them and so I've had to re-glue it a few different times and I used a cinder block over there on the ground to to be able to actually um, put this guy back together by you know squishing it and, and gluing it again. Um, what's great is the weights inside of it. There are you know uh, magnets inside of it, obviously, and those magnet weights are allowing it to uh, feel nice and weighty in my hand. Um, not only that, but when I put this cap on top, which also has a, a rare earth magnet in it, it just attached itself right directly to the top in the middle. It just stuck right to it, which is really really cool. 
and it also covered the hole that I originally drilled to put the foam sealer in. So now we've got a completely sealed up hammer. It doesn't look that pretty because it's got some kind of glue mess all over it. Um, but before I sand down that glue, I'm going to do a first prime coat with uh, some trucking bed stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and drop this guy right here. I'm going to kind of just hang it so I can paint it very easily, you know, as you can see. And then uh, what I'm going to use is this truck bed coating that I've got right here. Yeah, truck bed coating. And then after I do that, I'm going to sand it down. Uh, once I go ahead and sand it down, then I will probably coat it at least one more time. And then uh, after I sand it again, I'm going to take the handle part and then just spray it here with this plastic dip stuff. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and paint the top and the bottom, and then after I paint everything, I'm gonna go ahead and put it with a nice little uh, glossy uh, primer for or glossy uh, polyurethane for the top, as well as a matte uh, version for the bottom, because I don't want the bottom to be shiny, right? Because it's the handle. So, and then I've also got a leather strap I need to throw onto it. So, uh, we'll go ahead and start painting it right now, and we'll see you guys in the next update. So I've got the hammer here finally sanded up. You can kind of see it's got quite a bit of work that has happened. I even took some glue off of it right there. I kind of sanded it as best I could. And the bottom, you can already see you've got this like really nice plasticky grip on there. Um, it feels like a rubber grip handle and you can even kind of see the, the rubber style on there. It's pretty cool. I'm going to take the whole thing outside here and actually spray one coat of the plastic all around the entire thing just to kind of fill up some spots on here. And then, uh, yeah, he's not too happy about it. And then after we get done doing that, I'm going to start actually painting it its proper colors. Uh, I'm gonna do the whole thing silver and steel, and then I'm gonna properly paint this guy brown on the handle, and then uh, we'll have leather, and then we should be done with it. So uh, we're coming along here, getting to the last part. And man, the hammer is already super weighty. It feels really heavy in my hand, which is really nice. So it's, it's pretty awesome, pretty awesome. All right, all right, later, later. Update time. Okay, so we finally got it painted uh, silver and I've actually sanded it just a little bit to make it look a little bit uh, less perfect because it was way too perfect looking. So now it's got kind of that roughness quality all around it and we've got some tape on the end here. Um, I have been using, we'll go ahead and take a look here. I've been using the forged metal right there, the hammer, and I've also kind of been going back and forth with this silvery texture because it makes it really, really nice when you've got the, the two kind of going together. I'm going to finish off the top with this clear enamel, which is glossy, and then I'm going to go to the bottom and start painting the uh, handle brown and then uh, putting the, the matte glossy or the matte uh, polyurethane stuff on there. Anyway, um, it's, it's going really, really nicely right now. Once I added the plastic piece to this, it gave it a bunch more weight and kind of just made it really uniform. So. Um, I'm very happy with how it's turning out, and it feels very, very weighty, so, uh, you know, like when you put it down on something, for example, it doesn't, it doesn't, like, fall on the handle side, you know? Oh, oh, oh. It just, it stays up on its side, you know, because it's heavy. That's cool. Alright, so, keep working on it. Almost done. So what made this uh, project really, really cool was uh, the fact that uh, I, I didn't have anything at my house that, that resembled a hammer. And now with just uh, going through a 3D printer and adding some paint and some plastic, we now have this really cool Mjolnir uh, replica cosplay hammer that we can use. So one thing that I did with this project that made it uh, very, very fun and unique was that I used, uh, of course, a real leather strap. I wanted to get a cosplay version of this, and, and I looked them up online, and they all cost about $300. Of course, some of them are actually metal. Uh, I actually decided that I was going to make one out of, not metal, but plastic through a 3D printer. Um, the handle is two different pieces of plastic, and I actually put a, an oak wooden dowel in there. Uh, so what you're looking at 
What you're looking at right here is 20 different pieces of 3D printed plastic that have been turned into this cosplay hammer. And of course the actual grip itself is completely full of, like it's like a rubbery plastic grip because of the stuff that we used. And then the top is actually, uh, it's not hollow inside, it's full of neodymium magnets, uh, rare earth magnets, as well as uh, we've got a bunch of paint and uh, we even used some foam filler to put inside there so that it's not actually hollow. That way if it does hit something, it's got kind of a solid feel to it. Uh, the hammer itself does weigh just under three pounds and just to, just to, let's go ahead and check out, let's, let's verify the weight of this real quick. Okay, so there you have it. If you have any uh, questions or want to know any more information about how to make something like this yourself, just uh, go ahead and ask a question in the comments below. And if you want to see any other cool projects that I'm working on or anything else in the future that I haven't seen or that I haven't shown, go ahead and let me know and I will be sure to uh, check them out. So, thanks for watching. Let's go.